In recent news, WhatsApp has threatened to leave the UK due to the country's proposed online safety bill. The legislation would outlaw end-to-end -end encryption, a feature that WhatsApp and other messaging platforms offer. This has caused concern among privacy advocates who view the bill as a disproportionate step that allows the state to mandate bulk interception and surveillance. In this video, we will take a closer look at why WhatsApp is threatening to leave the UK and what the online safety bill is all about. What is end-to-end -end encryption? End-to-end -end encryption ensures that a message can only be decrypted by the intended recipient using a secure decryption key that is unique to each sender-recipient pair and to each of their messages. Decryption, even by the messaging service provider, is impossible. It is offered by default on WhatsApp, Signal, Apple's iMessage and FaceTime and is an option on Meta's Messenger and Telegram. What is the online safety bill? The online safety bill is a proposed British legislation that seeks to improve online safety by placing certain duty of care obligations on online platforms. Most of the criticism is directed against Clause 110 of the OSB which empowers the British Telecommunications Regulator, the Office of Communications, to issue notices to most kinds of internet service providers, including private messaging apps and search engines, to identify and take down terrorism content that is communicated publicly, and child sex exploitation and abuse, CSEA, content that is communicated publicly, privately, and to prevent such content from being communicated in the first place. How does the bill affect messaging apps? Although the OSB does not mandate removal of E2E encryption, it would de facto mean breaking it as messaging apps would have to scan all messages that are sent on their platform to flag and take down terrorist and CSEA content. Since the clause also requires the platforms to prevent terrorism and CSEA content from being communicated using the platforms, it would mean that WhatsApp would have to implement a client-side scanning mechanism to scan content on users' devices before it is even encrypted. For this, they would need to rely on algorithms that are not very sophisticated and do not understand context. How have other messaging platforms reacted? Signal's president Meredith Whitaker has said that Signal would absolutely, 100% walk, if forced to weaken the privacy of its messaging platform. Matthew Hodgson, the CEO of British company Element that runs Matrix-based E2E encrypted messenger, said that if the OSB was passed, he may have to exit the UK entirely and shift his company's headquarters. What if the platforms don't comply? If platforms do not comply, they may face penalties of up to £18 million or 10% of the platform's global revenue of the preceding accounting year, whichever is higher. Did India enact a similar law? Through the Information Technology, Intermediary Guidelines and Digital Media Ethics Code, Rules, 2021, the Indian government made it mandatory for messaging platforms with more than 5 million users in India to enable the identification of the first originator of a message, or what is commonly called traceability. This is not the same as asking for scanning and flagging of all encrypted content. It is about getting to the first person who sent a message that may have been forwarded multiple times. In India, WhatsApp did not threaten to leave the market. It instead, sued the Indian government over the traceability requirement. The proposed online safety bill has created a lot of concern among privacy advocates and messaging platforms that offer end-to-end -end encryption. WhatsApp's threat to leave the UK has brought the issue to the forefront of public discussion. The government will need to balance the need for online safety against the importance of privacy and security.